Now what are polyphenols? We now know they're very powerful antioxidants. We also know that some, there are about 4,000 polyphenols known. Probably another 8,000 which are out there which we haven't identified. They're very, very complex structures. They have antioxidant properties, but some, not all, but some have also anti-inflammatory properties. And where do you find them? Well, here's some of the places, but notice it's where you find color. It's the polyphenols that give fruits and vegetables their color. It's even polyphenols that give brown rice its color. Are there any benefits to eating brown rice? Glycemically, no. But there are some benefits because there are some polyphenols. But you get a massive amount of carbohydrates for the small polyphenols you get in whole grains. Where you get the most polyphenols with the least amount of carbohydrates? Vegetables. That's why your grandmother said, you can't leave the table until you can eat your, all your vegetables. Now, getting polyphenols out is very, very difficult. But there's one way to really extract them. It's called alcohol. Because alcohol extracts polyphenols from botanical sources very effectively. And that's all the benefits of red wine because the red wine is extracting out the polyphenols. Now, are there any benefits to alcohol, like vodka? Joe, are there any benefits to vodka? It the pain. <laughs> <laughs> As Joe has so eloquently said, it basically, it has no health benefits, other than killing brain cells, and Joe basically is a primary example. This used to be the <laughs> smartest guy I've ever met, sharp as a tack. <laughs> but at the turn of the century, what was medicine? It was called tinctures. They were alcoholic extracts of plants because the alcohol would pull out the polyphenols and they would pull out alkaloids, which are basically drugs. So medicine was basically the doctor selling the tincture of this or the tincture of that. And one woman made millions of dollars in Massachusetts selling tinctures that were about 20% alcohol as a treatment for PMS during Prohibition. She made money hand over fist. Now, one way you can measure the levels of antioxidants in uh, anything is called the ORAC value. ORAC stands for Oxygen Radical Absorption Capacity. The higher the ORAC value, the more antioxidants you have. So let's look at white wine. Is it colored? Uh, teeny weeny. So you get about 400 ORAC units. How about rosé wine? Not as colored. Maybe you get 1,000. So let's buy, how about 100, and this is all for 100 grams. So everything is basically, we're comparing apples to apples. So let's say I put 100 grams of the best extra virgin olive oil from Italy and drink that every day. Well, it's a lot of fat but you'll get about the same amount of polyphenols as drinking one glass of rosé wine or three glasses of, of white wine. But let's say I just want to eat a red apple. Could be a green apple, it doesn't matter. All of a sudden, I'm getting a pretty good slug of polyphenols. Now, an apple a day very well could keep the doctor away. Of course, that also means about 20 apples a day will also keep the doctor away, probably 20 times more effectively. But say, I don't like apples, yeah, you know, uh, wine, say, okay, how about a nice glass of dark red wine? Oh, I could do that. Okay, about 5,000 ORAC units. Or why do I eat a cup and a half of blueberries every day? Why? A lot of polyphenols there. Now, has anybody ever, does anybody like chocolate? Everybody loves chocolate. Does anybody like unsweetened baker, uh, baking chocolate? No, it is, oh, okay. There's always, always somebody in the audience. <laughs> Does anybody except Irma like it? Uh, it's disgusting. But, but in reality, in, uh, you know, in Europe, they actually make somewhat tolerable, pure, unsweetened baker's chocolate. Well, that unsweetened baker's chocolate 
has a lot of polyphenols. In fact, of to show you how bitter that, you know, that's why the, the unsweetened baker's chocolate is very bitter. Only about 5% of the 100 grams are polyphenols. So if I could isolate out all the polyphenols from baker's chocolate, it'd be 20 times more bitter. It's already pretty bitter, but it'd be 20 times more bitter. But it gives you about 50,000 ORAC units. But eating a big bar of chocolate, unsweetened chocolate every day, nobody's going to do it. Except a clinical study published two years ago in Europe when they gave people who had high blood pressure a bar, a big bar of chocolate to eat every day for 60 days, their blood pressure dropped. 